So hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel everyone and as every day we are back with the market analysis video for all of you. Uh, so listen to this video very carefully and watch it till the end to understand what has happened in the market today and what are the expectations from the market for tomorrow. It is very important to know the expectations from the market for the tomorrow in order to place your early trades in the morning. So let's hear the flash news from the market. So Sensex recops losses to end 40 points, 42 points higher. Nifty above 14,650. Asian paints Cadilla gain 4% each. Healthcare and industrial lead the market rally. 17 of 30 Sensex stocks end the day in the green. Index contributors HDFC, Asian Pants, HUL, TCS, Sun Pharma. Top index gainers, Asian Pants 4.07%, Sun Pharma 1.88%, HUL 1.44%. Top index losers, Power Grid 2.29%, Axis Bank 1.12%, Indusind Bank 1.09%. S&P BSE Healthcare Biggest Sectorial Gainer up 1.65%. S&P BSE Bank X Biggest Sectorial Loser down 0.51%. Volume Toppers SBI, HDFC, Reliance, Bajaj Finance and HDFC Bank. So these were the flash news about the Sensex. Now let's see what has happened in the Nifty 50. So here is the daily chart of the Nifty 50 in front of us. So as I have mentioned to all of you yesterday, that if market opens gap up, then you can go long in the market. Uh, but here, what is a common thing that you all should know that this kind of candle, this candle is almost look like a spinning top uh, reversal candle, a candle which reverses the uh, trend. So here, as you can see that the market was in a good uptrend. On an hourly basis, this is a good uptrend. Four or five candles has been made. Scalpers, the scalpers trade on this basis only. Uh, so here, market taken a gap up opening. Then as you can see that, the, uh, this is the opening candle 915 the market has taken gap up opening but the, you can see that this is this candle uh, almost uh, look like a, a reversal pattern so after that you can see that two three candles making there only and then market has been falling if we don't consider this as a, as a reversal candle uh, no problems in that also here is the here is the high market has made and this is the uh, this is the opening for the market 14741 and this is the Closing for today's market 14,696. So there is almost no gain in loss, only 0.31% movement in the market. So this is not a big deal. As I as I have mentioned, and I'm still mentioning the thing is that the one thing which is very important. So market uh, today's we can see this. What we can see with what we can say to this is it is almost an range bounded movement. Uh, no much upside or downside movement we have seen today uh, so this is the thing again uh, market open gap up and if continuing that rally then it's really good then you can go long or we can go short accordingly and uh, for that purposes uh, look uh, if somebody has even gone long after seeing a gap up opening then there is no issues in that uh, we don't have seen much downside movement because this candle was in itself we can see anybody who understands a bit about the market can say that yeah this is a candle uh, after which you can't go long in the market so it was very it was very reasonable to don't go long in the market and if somebody has not shorted the market even after seeing that then that is also okay because market was uh, almost in the range it has not shown such big movement after that so this is the thing about the today for the nifty 50 and what are the expectations from the nifty 50 tomorrow is that again i am saying you the every anything which is going to happen tomorrow is completely dependent upon the opening the opening of the market because the indian market is not giving us much downside or upside movement if you will see from the last few days the market has given us some movement but always look at here here market was almost trading in a range look at this if you create this line okay if you create this line then you can see that market was trading almost in the range and here also market was trading almost in the range you can see this this is the range for the market the market was trading in the range earlier also and few days back also as you can see here uh, so 300 200 points range market was trading in and you can see that market has fallen here but again what has happened market has again given a bull move 
covering all the losses then again fallen here but then again good move again fallen here and then again moving upward so uh, covering all the losses so this is a kind of range movement only now such bear or bullish sentiment in the market is there that's why i keep on saying that the opening of the market is really important because uh, in such kind of market where is no downtrend or uptrend where market is mostly uh, sideways and if there are any gains upside or downside are getting covered in few days only uh, here you can say that this is a downside gain and that is getting covered in few days again same thing has happened and again same thing has happened and this kind of market the opening is the very important point you have to wait for the opening you can't you can't predict aggressively about tomorrow's market and some if there are some people who are really aggressive trader yeah they can surely look for some things and then can decide whether to go long on short i can predict that but for a conservative trader in such kind of market you need to be uh, you need to be see the what is the opening if the there is an upside opening then accordingly we can think about going long and if there is a downside opening then again we can so we can uh, think about going short uh, so here is the one thing as you can see that uh, as i am noticing is that that this is the level uh, where nifty has not crossed this level uh, since uh, long now as we can see this let me show you here this level it looks like that this is not a strong level i'm not saying that this is a strong level because firstly it is on the hourly chart only and then secondly it has been tested two three times only uh, so this is the level as you can see that there are three four candles two three times has been made different different point of time and market has faced resistance here so again market is trying to go upside there and we can see some resistance here and here and we can see support so for me right now uh, this is the range for the market this is the resistance level and this is the support level for the market and as you can see that market is moving in this range only here also you can see that once came down here here faced resistance again went down taken support again faced resistance again gone down taken support again faced resistance resistance then again went down then completed the this is the support zone so yeah didn't went completely down there but still moved from there and again moving to the resistance level so this is what i am thinking as of now that what is going to happen in the market is that market will go near to this level uh, the level of 14000 this week uh, this is my expectation that market will try to go either to this level here uh, it is not necessary that market will go exactly to the resistance might can take turn uh, somewhere near to the resistance also as it has taken uh, turn here from the near the support level but this is this is are my expectations as of now but again i am telling you that the most important thing is opening for a conservative trader if anybody who trades aggressively then yeah you can uh, be sure about this thing that market will be going to this this resistance level but a good conservative trader will wait for the market opening every day they'll wait for the market opening until unless market takes a good side other upside or other downside and and the market if the market is in the range then we have to wait for the opening opening the conservative traders need to be in the aggressive trader i have told you the market looks like going back to this resistance level as it has it has faced a resistance two three different Two, three at two three different point of times and almost one two three uh, four five and six seven eight candles have faced resistance at this level so yeah it is looks like a good resistance point now let's take our discussion to the bank nifty that what has happened in the nifty bank uh, so now this is the nifty bank as we can see and as i have told you the nifty bank's support level i'm talking about this support level for a, a long now uh, so anybody who is tracking uh, or watching our videos knows that this is a strong support level uh, for the bank nifty also i'll show you in the daily chart that how good support this level is for the bank nifty and here you can see the lot of candles on the hourly basis have been made on this support zone and there's a clear cut case that market needs to break down below this and what i am seeing is that not looking like the market is in the mood to break down the support then again uh, again what the thing is that the this market is also look here you can see that this is this market is also in the range the bank nifty's market so keep on waiting for the openings and if the opening comes near to the support zone then very cautious for trading because anytime market can break down the support zone uh, that's why you need because if market breaks below this support for the bank nifty
after this support there is no level for the bank nifty near no near level for the bank nifty here one you can say that yeah okay but there is no much candles and that that this level is also two three thousand points below so there will be free fall in the bank nifty after breaching this support level with volume and you have to be confirmed you have to wait and you have to confirm yeah this support has completely been breached by the bank nifty then only you can take the trade now let me show you the support on the daily chart the people who have not watched our earlier videos you can see that uh, what kind of support this could be because this was a strong resistance for the bank nifty here you can see the market has faced resistance here seems long then again faced resistance breached and now market is taking support over here so yeah this is a strong support level i am talking about this from previous few videos now and uh, this is the very important level and here you can see that the, the kind of support the market is taking over here clearly shows what an important level it is you can see this candles accumulating over here shows the importance of this level and uh, now after so many candles being made here if there is a breakdown then i'm sure that market will fall freely there will be good fall in the market now let's see what has happened to our indices today the different indices what were their movement almost uh, uh, what we have seen in the nifty and uh, in the bank nifty also uh, almost uh, almost a range bounded movement and as you can see that this is not much gain we can't say this is a much gain only uh, points movement uh, 0.64 some one some some or the other indices have shown good movement but uh, most of the indices were in range only this is a range movement you can say nifty metal yeah okay good movement nifty pharma uh, and nifty reality otherwise you can say that a 0.02 percent change uh, what kind of change is this i know i don't know and the top uh, nsc gainers and losers if we talk about them if we see them the adani port as we can see uh, was the biggest gainer for today with a uh, almost change of 14.5 percent is a brilliant move adani ports have given now there is a reason in the market for this uh, this uh, is, has come for some kind of news this kind of movement uh, the adani port uh, was in a sweet spot on Tuesday as the share climbed nearly 15% with high volumes following a couple of good news for its shareholder on the NSE the stock jumped 14.5% to end up 849.85 Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone on Monday set, said it has acquired 25% stake of Vishwa Samudra Holdings in uh, Krishna Patnam Port for Rs 2800 crore this will result in app says increasing its stake from 75% to 100% in Krishna Patnam port Krishna Patnam port located on the east coast of India in Nellore district of Andhra Pradesh is an all weather deep water port and has multi cargo facility with a current capacity of 64 million ton per annum apart from this the company also saw rapid growth in business over the last month the company said it handled cargo volume of 26 million in March 2021 an increase of 41% on year or year basis and 23% on a month on month basis for the quarter ended March EPSA's handled cargo volume of 73 MMT registered a growth of 27% on yearly basis so this was the news that's why Adani port has shown such kind of movement to us now let's talk about the stocks for the intraday and this is the stock first stock that I have picked is UPL now UPL as you can see this uh, looking in a good uptrend on the hourly basis here it has made a high and then again made a low then again made a high now looks like the stock is going back to the uh, support level which was a good resistance earlier also we have talked about this stock uh, our stop loss was hitted in this stock earlier also as this was a resistance but uh, the stock was coming with a good uptrend we didn't recognize it and again now this uh, this level is now acting as a support to the stock and here you can see that the market has made a high then again taken a support over here and then again made a high now again i am what i am expecting is that market will take a will take support here so if market opens or goes below 657.75 level with a good volume again i am telling you the good volume you can check the volume here volume bars uh, 657.75 if opens below this then you can short sell the market for the uh, for at the support level and if that kind of thing does not happen then don't do anything with the stock you can leave this stock alone then and uh, another uh, stock that we are going to talk about uh, for is HDFC life so here is the HDFC life 
looking in a good uh, uprun as we can see this uh, so clear one thing is that uh, if good volume is good again tomorrow and we see a gap up opening then you can go long no shorting on this stock as of now you can see uh, what a good kind what a kind of run it is having so don't short sell this stock only if opens uh, uh, you can go long if you see a gr green candle okay if you see a green candle uh, the first candle a green candle and which closes above uh, this level 701.2 it closes above 701.2 and a green candle then you can definitely go long on this hdfc live stock so this was the prediction for today so i hope every one of you have learned something about the market and nifty 50 and bank nifty uh, my view is very clear and i have communicated it to you so thank you so much for watching the video everyone i hope you liked the video please press the like button uh, share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon to get this kind of analytics video on daily basis thank you so much